comparing vaccinated children versus unvaccinated children. But a proper double-blind study, a study in which one group of children would be given a vaccination and another group of children given a placebo would have serious ethical problems. The CDC says they won't do it is because it's unethical, because we're withholding a known benefit treatment and it would be unethical. But here's the thing, there are tens of thousands of unvaccinated children already in this country. Children from home birthing, families at home birth, children that are homeschooled, children from chiropractors' families and other types of holistic practitioners that don't vaccinate their kids. Those kids are already out there. Dr. Tenpenny believes that there are tens of thousands that could participate, and while it is a parent's prerogative to make that choice, this would not fall in the parameters of a scientific study, where the doctors, researchers, parents, and patients don't know who is being vaccinated and who is given a placebo. And that's why no ethical review board would approve a study of this nature. And if they did a, a simple survey, a simple study of things like matched for aged, all those things that you have to do to make it a significant study and, and look at things like how many drugs, how many medications, if you had 10 unvaccinated and 10 vaccinated kids, of, of the, uh, how many medications are each one of the children on? How do they do in school? What is their average grade point? How many average days of school do each of those kids miss? Yeah, what would the um, days of school indicate? I mean, school They're healthier. They, they miss a number of missed days of school. If the unvaccinated kids miss five days of school and the vaccinated kids miss 27 days of school, well, it's primarily because the vac unvaccinated kids, you could interpret that to say that the unvaccinated kids are healthier. But you missed the entire third grade and you're unvaccinated. I was sick and it was good. Yeah, so, so maybe I, I'm, not a, I'm not a scientific researcher. I don't know how to set all those things up. Well, the only way that you can answer that question is to look at children who were completely vaccinated and compare them to children who were completely unvaccinated. Now, to do that retrospectively, it would be hard because you want to make sure that those two groups are alike in every other aspect with the exception of receiving vaccines. And you tend, when you have a group that's completely vaccinated or completely unvaccinated, it's very unlikely that those two groups are going to be the same, certainly with regard to their healthcare seeking behavior. So that will bias the study. So the only way you could really do that study is prospectively. I mean, to randomly assign a child into a group that is completely vaccinated or to a group that's completely unvaccinated. Obviously, you can't do that study. It's a, a highly unethical study because vaccines work. And if you have a group that's unvaccinated, those children may get Haemophilus influenza B or pneumococcal meningitis and, and die from that. And exactly how do you conscience that knowing that, that, that vaccines work? So maybe I... I'm not a I'm not a scientific researcher. I don't know how to set scientific researcher. I don't know how to set all those things up. Scientific researcher. I don't know how to set all those things up.